What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Y'all, today we're going to be taking a review from a channel that I've been watching for years. And this is TFL Truck. Now, apparently, they did a, a an I got lit test, I believe, with the new 2025 Ram 1500. Now, I am surprised because it's the one with the 3 liter and line 6. Now, today... We're going to take a look at this because apparently this Ram failed. Oh my God. Listen to this. Ford or Ram Jeep Chrysler vehicle. Roman, it's hot as hell out here. Yeah, perfect weather because we're about to go run the TFL toaster. What's that, Andre? It's a torture test, hot temperature, where we toast the engine and transmission and figure out what the truck is made of. Yeah, now we've done this with the Silverado and we have done this with the F-150 and they both overheated. And today we've got the new Ram 1500 with the Hurricane twin turbo. So let's see how it holds up to getting toasted. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, my friend. We have to climb, climb, climb. This is gonna be super hard up here. Oh, this is steep, Andre. I forgot. I haven't done this in a while. I just forgot just how steep this Can you is. believe this? Yeah, it's straight up. I can hear the fan. Yeah, I can hear the fan. Yeah. I can help. Really hear the fan. Whoa! What happened? Take a look! Oh my, Andre. I really missed the Hemi. Yeah, it's no more. Mm. This new truck now has a 3-liter straight-six twin turbocharged engine. The displacement is lower, 3 liters. But power is big, 420 horsepower and 469 pound-feet of torque, and it's... Okay, let me just interrupt right here because I'm going to say this. Now, as a performance engine, I can say, okay, get this, because it's like the BMW engine, but it's not. But for a pickup truck, for a truck that's going to be towing, at his weight, at his uh, rated weight, I wouldn't trust this truck because A, it's a smaller displacement, and B, is if I want an inline six, I'm going to get a diesel. I'm going to get a Cummins. But the fact of the matter is, is that they built this truck to tow, and we're about to see what's going to happen because this is crazy. It's made it as before to an eight speed automatic. Well, let's find out what happens when we toast it because we have quite the load. As always, safety is number one at TFL truck, which is why we're using this hitch. This is our way safe weight distribution hitch. And this is their middle weight because we are towing 10,500 pounds, but it's height adjustable. You could set it, you could see exactly your tongue load so you can distribute the weight perfectly throughout the truck and trailer and have sway control to boot. Let me hook up. Andre, we've got a work truck, so it only seems appropriate that we have a very big and heavy work skid steer. Yes, so we loaded that trailer up just like we did last time when we tested the Cybertruck versus the F-150 trimmer. This is 10,500 pounds of weight, which is basically maxing out this Ram 1500, which has a towing capacity of around 11,000. And we're gonna be taking it up to over, what, 9,000 feet above sea level? About 8,500, yes. And that stresses the engine, that stresses the cooling system, that stresses the truck, and that toasts the truck. Okay, so you heard what you heard what they said. Now, as again, I don't, I don't really, I don't really care that they put it into a inline to a damn pickup truck because a like I said before, it's built to tow, and as and its max tow rating is at eleven thousand pounds, and they weighed it around to ten thousand five hundred. Now it should do that, but what failed? really well yeah so i don't want to you know jinx it by saying we've made it before we make it yes but it looks like it's going to make it without actually you know fussing yeah 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 exactly and that's a that's a win dude i'm very impressed um i knew ram is going to bring you know torque and power to the game with this engine but i was a little bit unsure about all the heat that it can handle yeah you and got that, two turbos and that's why we're doing this test all right 
my wife says we're almost at 8,000 feet. All right, we still have about 500 feet left, maybe more. Okay. The higher we go, the less air density, the less air that engine has to deal with. Yeah, and the harder the turbo works, right? Yeah. The more, the more it's actually got to work to get more air, to get more combustion, you know, to get this big load up a big hill. I love doing these kinds of tests. It kind of keeps the manufacturers honest, you know? Yeah. And I gotta say, Andrew, I'm gonna blow our own horn here. What? Uh, very few out there are actually doing these kinds of towing tests. I would say we are the, one of the only ones that actually does serious tow testing on, on trucks nowadays. Yeah, and also consistent, right? Yeah. I mean, we've been doing the Ike for what, almost 13 years? Yeah. Uh, we've been doing this test for what, maybe three or four years? Yeah, it's always an honor to meet one of you guys out there and you'll tell us that you bought your truck because of the results of these tests. It's a huge honor and it makes my day. Yeah. Every single time I hear it. And so we take it very seriously. All right, dude, I can see the finish line. Okay. Truck, make it now, don't go kablooey. It did it! All right. It climbed it. The first TFL toaster is in the books. Well, it's in the books. The rebranded and TFL toaster is in the books. So, can you hear the fan? I can hear the fan. <laughs> yeah, I can hear the fan. Yeah. I can help. Really hear the fan. Whoa! What happened? Now, when you stop towing, you get a low pressure indicator light. What the f hell? Uh, no, ain't no fucking way. See, that that that's a problem. Oil pressure low? Oh my god, it didn't! It, at the end, it threw a light. Oh, we thought we did it. Wait, wh wh why? It threw an oil pressure. Oh, no. Oh my god, did we lose oil? I don't know. Go look. Let me go look. Let's go here. Take the camera. Now, let me just interrupt right here, just right quick. Now, this engine, I believe, runs 0W20. And we all know that, it, that oil is not meant for towing like that. That's, that's, that's oil you put in the regular economy car. That oil right there is way too thin for a truck towing that much. And from my standpoint, when I see this, it automatically puts me on, on alert because it's like, okay, so you're towing just below 11,000 pounds of a steep grade, of course. But the fact after you finish towing and your oil pressure light comes on, so... And I believe this truck doesn't have a dipstick. So you telling me that this truck doesn't has a low low pressure a low uh, oil pressure light and no deep no and no dipstick? Oh my god. It's dry as a bone. Let me look under the hood. Let me pop the hood. <laughs> Can you believe that, Andre? Well, we called it the winner. Okay, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, you feel the heat coming out through this truck. Dude, oh, there's so oh, much there's heat. so much heat. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't even get to the thing. All right, the light just went away. What do you think it is? Do you think thin oil? Maybe something happened there? That's a weird one. I mean, I would get... Oh God, that's hot. I know. I would, I, I would understand if it was water coolant temperature or if it was transmission temperature. Yes. But oil pressure? pressure? That's really odd. That basically means you're dropping oil on the ground, right? But there's nothing here. Is there anything behind us? We, we can drop some oil somewhere? There's what? nothing here. I mean, there's nothing have, here. Be, I mean, we're parked on a steep hill, Andre. Could it be the sensor is maybe the angle? Yes. There is no. We're in, we didn't drop any oil. There is no smoke. There is no smell. I mean, you would smell it, right? Yeah. Would, we, we're not smelling it. I mean, this is one of those things. I think the manufacturer is going to have to diagnose, right? There, there might be. But, there might but, be something in the 
some code that that's left basically but it never derated itself we called it the winner no chicken dinner <laughs> it's not a winner andre you get a you get a light on the toaster <laughs> and the toaster claimed another one so so look so so as far as let's just let's just surmise what happened right okay. the ford derated yes the chevy threw uh a transmission hot yeah yes and like the olympics <laughs> Like the swimmer, <laughs> they thought they got a medal, but then once you cross the finish line, uh, on the playback, when you get a light, it's a fail, right? It, it's a fail, guys. Okay. I'm sorry, Ram, but it's a fail. It now, as I stated before, when it comes to tests like those, I understand it's a vehicle. It, as a vehicle, it's it's very, it's a little bit iffy. I understand that. But the fact that you had Ram through a low through a low oil pressure code and you had Ford and you had Chevy derate because of a hot because of a hot transmission or hot cooling system. I understand those tests are difficult, but the thing is, those trucks are meant for towing. Now, imagine if your customer that bought that truck to tow heavy weights, or just tow semi to light heavy, uh, semi to slight heavy weights. What would happen if that customer was out in the wilderness like that with no camera, no nothing, off road? Do you really do you think that'll be a safe condition? Do you think that'll be safe, especially for a truck like that? Now, like I said, if I'm towing something like that, like a skid steer, I'm going to be towing that with a 2500, whether it be a Hemi 2500 or a Cummins 2500. I wouldn't leave it open to chance where I would tow something that heavy with the three liter inline six. Knowing that a I can lift the head because it's a gas engine, or b I put a hole in the side of the block. I don't trust I don't trust a smaller displacement engine, especially to tow something that heavy. I just wouldn't do it. But I'm glad TFL tests their test vehicles to find their limits. But that again, that's another reason why they should bring back the Hemi because if it were me. I would a get either uh, a older Ram fifteen hundred with the V with the Hemi, or I will get me a twenty five hundred with Cummins. That's just me as a person. But like, share, subscribe, channel support the podcast, subscribe to the com. Please write down in the description down below. I want to see what you guys are going to say about this. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.